and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Vlogtober vlogs. I'm not quite sure what day this will go up as I'm recording it in advance but um, I today I'm going to do a recipe and I'm going to do a spice and tice recipe and it's a spice and tice Massaman curry. Um, so the description for this is Clever little no waste pack of 100% pure herbs and spices with an easy to prepare recipe that serves four. Let's just open it and see if there's a description of the Masterman recipe. Masterman curry was first introduced to Thailand by Persian merchants who fell in love with the aromatic spices infused with the delicate flavours of coconut. Now we bring this exotic dish for you to enjoy the magic that is Massaman. So, oh, we've got some interesting things in the pack. Um, this kit will be free on the plan, but some of the suggested ingredients could have sins. So, um, I'm going to make some changes so that it is sin free depending whether you want to count the yoghurt as sins or not. Um, and don't forget that on all Spice and Tice mixers, you can get 20% off your order with my code DBF20. So on the back of the pack, you will get your recipe list, which I'll go through in a minute. And then on the inside, you get your um, recipe instructions. So let's see what we need. So the first thing that you need, it serves four. It's a medium spice. Prep it in 10 minutes and cook it in 30 minutes. So the shopping list is four chicken breasts or 650 grams of diced beef. I've got three muscle food chicken breasts here and they are pretty big so I think that will be plenty. And I do love my muscle food chicken breasts. They're always really nice, big and tasty. Um, two onions. One red pepper. And then it says coconut milk, 400 ml or one tin. So you would have to check out the sins for that and divide it between four if you wanted to use coconut milk and I do believe there is a light coconut milk out but what I'm going to use is this um, Muller Light Greek style coconut with a hint of vanilla and I've actually got about half a pot there um, now I had planned to do this recipe before Slimming World changed the sins of um, flavoured yoghurt but this whole pot is two and a half sins um, so it would probably be about one to one and a half sins for what's in there divided between four. So you could probably say it's half a sin a portion. So I'll see how I get on with that half a pot. I have got another pot in the fridge if I need more. Um, then I did get my garlic out but I don't know where it's gone. Uh, four garlic cloves. Um, one tablespoon of fish sauce which is optional but I thought I would add it so I get the full flavour and taste. One lime, I've just got some lime juice. 150ml of stock, chicken or veg. I've just got a chicken stock pot to make into stock. Two tablespoons of cooking oil or locale spray. I've got my fry light, that is pure light for frying the chicken off. One teaspoon of brown sugar or sweetener. And half a teaspoon of salt. So let's see. The first step is to chop the onions and peel the garlic. So we'll get that done. I'm just chopping my onions in my snazzy new Briefton's Push Chopper. You just need to quarter the onions into about four and it can handle that. If you haven't got one of these, it just says to roughly chop the onions. I 
have just found that this lid isn't very good at staying on, but there we go. It's worth it for the ease of use. And I have completely managed to mislay my um, fresh garlic. I have no idea where it's gone. So it'll probably turn up in the most random of places. But luckily I've got some frozen garlic. So it said four garlic cloves. So I'm going to put a good handful of this frozen garlic in. So then in here I've got two onions and four cloves of garlic. Uh, and then it says to add two tablespoons of water. So we'll put about that much in and see how we go. Then you want to add the quarter teaspoon of salt. So I've put a good sprinkling of salt in and the contents of sachet one so there you'll see it says sachet one on the spice entice packet and there's another sachet to add later on so we'll put that in smells very spicy let's see what mr Fawcett thinks oh bloody hell he doesn't think much to that and then it says to blend it into a paste so I shall get my trusty blender and start blending. Next thing to do is cut up your chicken into bite sized pieces and chop your pepper into chunks. So I'm going to try and make these smallish, uh, cutting off any visible fat as I go um, because I do want this to do me four portions. So as I say, just cutting the chicken into bite-sized pieces and then I'll chop up my red pepper, again using my favourite tool of the day. I've got my um, fry light heating in a big frying pan. If you want to use oil, you can do, but you would have to count the sins. So then the first step is to um, stir fry the curry paste. So this is the consistency of my curry paste. I'm going to turn that down a little bit to a medium heat and stir fry that for two to three minutes. When your paste has been stir frying for a couple of minutes, you then want to add your coconut milk or coconut yogurt or whatever you're using. As I say, I've got about half a pot of this Muller Light, so I'll see how I go with this. got another pot if I need to add some more. I'll scrape that out in a bit. And then you want your 150ml of chicken stock. And the contents of sachet 2, which looks like fresh herbs. So I didn't read out the herbs that were in this recipe, so it is paprika, lemongrass, galangal, chile, cumin, coriander, turmeric, kaffir lime, cassia, clove, cardamom and black pepper. So maybe there we've got the um, definitely got the kaffir lime, not quite sure what this is but 
we'll give it a go. Yeah, definitely lime. And then you want to bring that to the boil. So once your um, stock mixture is boiling, then want to grab your chicken breast. You want to lower the heat again to a medium heat. Stick the chicken in and the pepper. I want to give that a stir and it says cook for about 15 minutes. So I'll continue stirring this, leave it on a medium heat and cook it for about 15 minutes. I've been cooking my Massaman curry for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm now just going to add the final ingredients. So we need the juice of one lime. So I've just got some bottled lime juice here, so I'm going to add about three tablespoons of lime juice. Then I'm going to add the, get the angle right in a minute, the fish sauce. So it says a tablespoon of fish sauce. So we'll see what we think to that and then we need to add a teaspoon of brown sugar or sweetener so we'll see I've, that's more like a tablespoon but I think it needs a bit of sweetness adding so we'll then we'll leave that to cook for another five or ten minutes so that is the Masterman curry cooked for a further 5 or 10 minutes with all the ingredients added. I've tasted it, it tastes delicious. I'm just going to fish out the cinnamon sticks and the kaffir leaves. Then I'll portion it up and when I serve it up later with rice and veg, I'll let you know what I properly think to it. But yeah, so far that was a dead easy recipe and... Um, it, it will be sin free or half a sin per portion for the yoghurt if you're feeling very good and want to count the sins for the flavoured yoghurt. But yeah, certainly a lot less sins than using coconut milk. Here's the plated up dish for the Massaman curry. So as I say, I've got the chicken, uh, peppers, onions to make the sauce and half a sin for the coconut yogurt and I've served it with boiled rice and stir fry veg and I will come back and let you know what I think. So I have just tried the Massaman curry with the boiled rice and stir fry veg and I can tell you that it was absolutely delicious. It tasted like a spicy chicken korma so if you like chicken korma with a bit more heat and plenty of that coconut taste then you will enjoy the Massaman curry. And as usual with the Spice and Tice recipes, it was uh, really, really easy to make and not requiring many ingredients. So don't forget my code, DBF20. If you'd like to make an order, you will get 20% off. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.